Hello everyone, uh, Chef Will here from On The Menu with Chef Will Gote. Uh, I always talk about what you got, you know, like working with what you have in the refrigerator because a lot of times, uh, sometimes I forget I have something and I end up throwing it away. So um, I looked at my vegetable drawer and I saw that I had some cauliflower, I had some zucchini, I had some carrots, I had a half a jalapeno, and I got some uh, leftover uh, Italian dressing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate all these vegetables in the Italian dressing. And then I'm going to grill them outside. So today on On the Menu with Chef Will, grilled vegetables. Okay, and so uh, one of the things that I like doing when I'm preparing vegetables, some of them might get too messy. Um, I'm going to keep my vegetables like big and long, like my zucchini, I quartered it, okay? Um, my carrots, I'm gonna cut in half, but you notice that I peeled them, right? Um, I uh, broke down the head of cauliflower into really big florets like this. And I'm also, there was a part that I wanted to slice. I wanna see how this looks. Um, so uh, there you have it. And as far as the jalapeno goes, nice and thick. Uh, so I'm gonna use a plastic bag um, I'll put the dressing in there with all the veggies, toss it up, leave it for like 20 minutes, heat up the grill. Here we go. All right, so like I told you, there's the half of the jalapeno. Here's the cauliflower. Here's the zucchini. Um, and then here are the carrots. And I'm going to cut these in half lengthwise. I often have like a potluck or have friends come over. And a friend of mine came over. Uh, she was doing a pasta salad. Uh, it was very tasty. Um, I was trying to tell her to make the dressing. She bought this, okay? I don't hate her for it. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with anybody using whatever they can. Um, but uh, since it's left over, this is what I'm using. And this is what you end up with. Two halves of the carrot. All right, so now all the veggies are in the bag. And you see I got the dressing. So now I'm going to toss it around a little bit. Make sure that the dressing goes everywhere. And I'm gonna let it set for 30 minutes while I heat up the grill. Now, I know that I'm using this dressing. Again, it was what I had in the fridge I wanted to get rid of. Um, you don't have to, you can just use olive oil, salt, and pepper, um, and that'll work just fine. I do prefer kosher salt or some Himalayan pink salt, but nonetheless, um, any dressing that isn't creamy will work, like a balsamic vinaigrette or something like that works wonderful with this. But don't do like a ranch, or anything like that, that's that's not going to work out well. Um, I mean, you could try it, but uh, I don't recommend it. Oh, uh, you can use the ranch afterwards for a dip. And, uh, a lot of people, they're grilling or they're doing something and they don't prepare, you know. So make sure you gather all your utensils beforehand. If you're going to use some of the spray uh, on the grill or some oil on the grill, make sure you have the scrub brush to scrub it and you have the platter that you're going to bring the veggies back with you. So gather that, all right? So you always want to scrub the grill before you put anything on it. So we're outside. Uh, the grill is ready. I'll show you the temperature. It's at 400 right now. The veggies are marinated. Now, you got to be real careful with the veggies because if you put them on the grill and the grill's not, the not, not, you know, the, um, the grill isn't close together, the tines, I don't even know if you call that tines, the grate, the grill grate isn't tight, um, then it'll fall through. So place it smartly, okay, um, so it doesn't fall through the cracks. Now, one of these will come in handy too. As you see that, it has the hole so the grill can, the, the Flame can still reach the veggies and give it that char, okay? Uh, these are fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. See, I put it directly over the flame. And get a little spray. All right. All right, see that? Make sure you turn them. So they don't burn. Cool. Uh, close it. Let it cook for like maybe a minute or two. All right. I'm going to drizzle some more of the extra dressing on it when I flip them over. It is a beautiful day in sunny Southern California. Hi, buddy. Where's buddy? Buddy's pissed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> You see him back there? Where is he? There he is. You see him? Because <laughs> I ain't grilling meat. 
So I saw you what I showed you what it's like if you're using one of those perforated pans on the grill. And this is what you would do if you're just gonna use straight up grill. Okay, you just gotta make sure that the veggies don't fall through the cracks. Here we go. See. See that? You want that little char there, okay? Oh man, that's going to be really good. Let's get the leaves a little bit around. Get zucchini over. There we go. The carrot. See the little light there? There you go. Cool. Oh, this is working out really well. It's going to be tasty. You see the jalapenos? They're not falling through because they're thick. I like thick. If you want to control the char, and you should, uh, you can, once they're, once they got the color that you want, you can move them to the side, okay? There where the flame isn't there, so it's indirect cooking. Um, and just wait a couple minutes till they cook. All right, so I'm gonna move some of these over here. You've seen me do this with chicken, right? There you go, move it over here. That one, that can stay there. Let's see this. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Move this over here. This one's got some nice char. I'm gonna slide it over here. You know, just work your grill. Este está negrito, perfect. Perfect. Gentle with the jalapenos or anything that you have that's small. Excellent. Now the, the carrots are going to be the one veggie that takes longer to cook because of the fiber fibrous nature of the carrot. You know, they're just harder. This higher water content cooks quicker. Lower water content cook, takes a little longer, okay? So I'm moving all of this aside. See? All right, indirect cooking. Direct cooking. All right, the carrots are perfect right now. Okay, they still need to like cook a little bit, but look at the char on these. These are gonna be really sweet. All right, so I'm moving everything over to here. All right, now I'm gonna put some of the dressing that I had left over. It's in the bag, so don't judge me. Here you go. And I'm going to put the heat on low and close it. Now that shouldn't take more than two, three minutes, okay? Oh, now the carrots, see how flexible they are? They're done. 
So now everything is done. So we take it all out. And the zucchini, oh, look at that. So after 20 minutes, from beginning to end, you end up with this.